Okay, this, this past week, uh, Charlie Strickland arranged to have Jack Wendell, uh, he's the CEO of uh, Delahaye uh, Cars, or Delahaye USA, uh, come out with his 3D scanner and scan some of the body parts on the car. Um, Charlie is the one who is designing the Chupacabra and has been around the industry for a long, long time. I'm going to put links in the description for his Strickland Racing and his YouTube channel that shows the, all the progress on the Chupacabra. And Jack, he actually has his own YouTube channel, and again, I'll put a link in the description, where he's actually uh, chopping up a new C8 Corvette that he's rebodying. So it's pretty fascinating, so I think you'll enjoy that. But anyway, let's get to why he came out, and Charlie will explain the reason that we're scanning uh, my Duraflex body. Oh, uh, we're at Dale Vaughn Blockland shop, Lamborghini Replicas, Lambo Builder, uh, those websites. Jack is famous on Fiber Classics, Dale is famous on those. Thought I'd put two of my best friends, to buddies in the world together here. This is the body that everybody on Dale's website knows it came from Carl at Duraflex. This is a sculpted body. We have OEM grills for this thing that do not fit quite right. What we're going to do here uh, for, is scan the openings, then we're going to scan the OEM grills, and then we're going to put both of those in SolidWorks, then we're going to tweak those grills a little bit to fit these openings, and then I am going to 3D print them. And that process, whether your grills or anything else, for anybody on Fiber Classics or Lambo uh, replicas, uh, it's kind of the same process, the same deal. But here's all the trades you need to make it happen. Um, there we go. You have to do a preview of the area. And so what that does, that gives the uh, program a world view of what you're scanning. All right. Now we've got a good scan, and at some point you have to decide to stop because if it gets lost, it'll do that double image thing, which we definitely don't want to have happen. So I'm just going to push the button to stop. All right. <laughs> and so now we can see that. Let me zoom out a little bit. We have a 3D model. We can see that we have as much detail as we need. If we didn't have enough detail, one of the nice things about this program is I could create another group and just scan again and I can stitch them together. I think that's the arm of your rack. Oh, okay, you're <laughs> right. Okay, more sheet metal work. One of the things that I had to do was the the window opening was actually inside the engine compartment. So I had to actually fabricate some pieces to enclose the cabin area so it's not open to the rear. So some cardboard cutouts and some bracing and we got that all done. Also finished up the enclosure back here. <clears throat> got the window cut out and filled in the sides put on the first layer for the side of the engines and it's coming together
did try some plasma cutting some of the pieces out but that was actually more trouble because after you plasma cut it you had to go ahead and uh, grind down the side so I just went back to the old um, cutoff wheels and that seemed to work. Anyway, progress is being made. On a side note, uh, this last week I turned 75. So those of you out there who are building these cars and think that you're too old to do it, uh, like I said, I'm still doing it and I'm having a good time. So don't give up on it. Keep on building. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would. Be sure and hit the post notification so next time I get one of these out you'll be able to see it right away. I appreciate it and thank you for watching.